Alright guys, so we're at the Baldy Trailhead here. And we're just gonna be heading up today. I think we'll probably just do Baldy today. Might walk back on the ridge a little bit. But uh, we're gonna actually be going the old route. So the old route's basically the steepest way to go. But I'll point out where the new route is. So the new route has a bunch of switchbacks that go up. So it's definitely a little bit easier. So maybe on the way down we'll check out some of the switchbacks and I'll show you those. But I'll catch you in a little bit as I keep going up. So the left side here is the new route that includes some switchbacks. And the right side here will kind of just start heading straight up. So we're just going to stick this way. So that's the end goal up there, top of Baldy. And I am getting absolutely demolished by mosquitoes today. I think for minutes walk to mosquito bites received, like one to one. But we'll keep working our way up. So we're coming to about halfway here. So we still got that bit to do. It is very humid today. <laughs> Sorry, bug just flew up my nose. You can kind of see we got some low clouds there. We're finally getting a little bit of a breeze, which feels really nice. Let's we'll see about how long that took us. It was about 16 minutes. So take us probably pretty close to that. Maybe a little bit more to get up to the top. So we'll just uh, start heading up. Now if you're wanting to do the switchbacks here, when you get to this rocky area, you're gonna see this sign right here. Do you see that? Then you're just gonna follow it right over here. But we're just gonna keep heading up the steeper way. So let's head up this way. So we're just about at the top now. There's the blacktails over there. On the right, on the left, there's round top. You can kind of see Vista. It's just to the right of the blacktails back there further. Oh, sorry, that's not it. I think that's mile high actually way back there. I think this is between the two. That wind feels really good. It was uh, really humid going up. Here's the view off the other side. There's the Mile High Ridge.
But yeah, this is it. it. Took us, let's see. It's about 33 minutes. So it's a pretty easy hike, especially if you take the switchbacks up. So it's only probably like a three difficulty, maybe three and a half. But I think we'll just kind of continue walking back towards the Blacktails. When you come down the ridge, you're going to come to this fork right here. And you have a path that goes off to the left. And you have a path that comes up here to the right. And the one to the left is a little faster if you're walking over to the Blacktails. But you don't get very nice views that way. This one over to the right, you can go ahead and look over to the ridge and get that same view we saw in Baldy. So I always like to come this way. But you can go either way you want. Especially if you're trying to go up Blacktails. Then a lot of times I will just stay to the left and just kind of hustle over there. But we're just kind of walking back on the ridge today, so we'll just hang out this way. And so here's the view if you do end up walking up onto this part of the ridge. But over to our right over here, that's the ridge we did under the other day, the Blueberry Hill. And then over here, we have a uh, Start off on the Mile High Trailhead, and then Tucker's leave that one to the right just a little bit. Magnificent, I believe, is right back there. So we might end up doing those later this year. This kind of depends on what kind of hikes I want to get done. But we'll just kind of start heading over, walking towards Blacktails. So it's taken us about 40 minutes to walk over to the other side on the ridge here. As you can see, we're right up close to Blacktails. And then all the way back there is Baldy. And I'm taking a pretty leisurely pace, so you could probably do this a lot faster than 40 minutes to walk back here. In here, let me get a little view over the side. But there is a good amount of snow in some places on the Blacktails there, and there is specifically one area that's a little bit sketchy. So if there's snow over that area, it'd be kind of hard to do it. And I was looking back on the ridge as I was walking over between Round Top and where you would come up from the Blacktails. Looks like there's a little bit of snow over there, but nothing too bad. So in a little bit, it might not be too bad to maybe try going up there. Just kind of see how the summer takes us. It's been pretty wet the last week or so. And I was actually surprised at how dry it is back here, but it's got some good drainage, so makes sense. But we're getting right over to the edge here. So this is just kind of the view that you'll end up with. But yeah, I might try to go. I might try to go up the little bit of the blacktails. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. All right.